Um, when I was about six years old, my parents had friends over the house and everybody was talking and the subject was phobias. And I was under the table just playing with my trucks like a little kid. And I'm, I'm listening to the conversation. And when it gets to my mom, my mom says, I am deathly afraid of heights. Now, I internalized that. I didn't even hear it, but I internalized it. And for my whole life, if everybody said, what are you afraid of? Oh, I'm deathly afraid of heights. I would even say it like her. I would say it the exact same way she would say it. Because if it's bad for mom, it must be bad for me. At the age of 50, we went to Peru, my wife and I. And we wanted to climb to the top of Machu Picchu. It was going to be a big celebration up there. We we're meeting other people. It was a spiritual event. And I was so excited. I just climbed up the mountain, 14,000 feet above sea level. Never thought for a second about how high it was. They drive you most of the way up. I didn't climb. I'm not that good. <laughs> you know, they drive you most of the way up and you walk up to the peak. But it's a little treacherous. Trust me. Um, and then I came back down. And then it hit me. We got back to the hotel room and I said, Dave, I'm not afraid of heights. My mom is. Mm. So for 50 years, I'm telling people I'm afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of anything. That I did that. She did that. You know what I mean? I mean, she didn't mean to do it. It was her stuff. I internalized it and I made it my own. So there's so many of those things. That's a little thing, but there are big things that are dictating your life. I mean, who knows? Maybe I would have been an airline pilot. I don't know. But I crossed that right off the list because I was, I'm afraid of heights. That's, I set my limitations right there. And it was set for me by somebody else. So when you realize that, you can go to another side of your mind. Your conscious mind is connected to your awareness. Your awareness is the highest level of your consciousness. Why? Because you're aware, we're one of the few creatures that are aware that we're having a thought or having an emotion. And if you're aware of such, guess what? You can change it. You can determine how you want to feel or how you want to be. And your awareness is connected to a higher source. And you can call it God. You can call it your higher self. You can call it source. Put any label you want on it. That's where you're connected. And when you stop listening to the ego and you cut that off, 